everyone and welcome back to how to use Macadroid. Today we're going to go over expert level UI interactions. I've developed this application earlier this morning, took about a half an hour. Um, on the, well, basically what it is, it's, a, it's an engine. So you have like an engine that goes suck, squeeze, bang, blow. And I can just, uh, I can hit blow the whole time but it will go up, right? So you need to do these in, in sequence or, or else you're not going to get any proportion going on, right? So basically, the, the faster you do it, the higher you go, right? So <clears throat> let's go ahead and go into Macadroid. And this is the script that I wrote. And uh, whenever you're in it, inside the application, you shake the device. See how he's uh, not really going up high right now? But if you hit the, um, the down arrow or the, the volume down, you can change the value. So let's go ahead and make it a little bit faster. So I made it so whenever you go into that screen, it goes fast. Whenever you take the device again, it goes faster. And if you want to do it even faster than that, with the down arrow. And then go to 10. And you shake the device. Look how much faster we're moving now. Alright, so how do you go about doing that? Let me show you. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to go into the templates and you want to go to search and then you want to type in Freeson. And <clears throat> let's see, right there it says a UI interaction for engine expert level template. You want to go ahead and get that on your phone and you also want to download uh, the APK that I put in there. Uh, once that's downloaded, you want to go into your settings on your phone and you want to search for about. And you want to go about the phone and you want to go down to the build. Or let's see, maybe it's software information. Let's try that one. Yeah, software and the build number. So you want to press that like nine times in a row and it gives you the developer options, right? So after that, you type in uh, pointer, and then you go to the developer options at the bottom where it says pointer location, and you click on, you check mark that. So see up at the top where it says, um, uh, you have your gray bar up there, and it's given the X and the Y location of everything, and not only that, but it's letting you draw. So like when you go into the app, right there, uh, See where it says X is 111 and Y is 2030? That's going to be the first location. This one is going to be 319, 1763, and then 841, 1744, and then the last one, of course, you're going to have to do that. So, what you do is you go back into Macro Droid and you go into the template that I made, and then right here where the UI interaction is, that's where you're going to plug in your X and Y numbers. Right, so you click on it, configure it, go to X by location, and then you put in your numbers right here. All right, and once you do that, you're all set up and you're ready to go. All right, everyone, have a great day. Till the next one.